शुरू करिए ओम सहना भवतु सहनौ भुनक्तु सह वीर्यं करवावहे तेजस्विनावधि तमस्तुमा विद्वशावहे इ ओम शांत शांत शांति ही ओम यश्चंद साम्रभो विश्वरूप छंदो भ्योध्यमृता आज संभूव समेन्द्रो मे दया आस्पृणोतु अमृत से देव धारणो भूयासम शरीर मे विचर्षण जिह्वा मे मधुमत्तमा करुणा आभ्याम भूरी विश्व ब्रह्मण कोशोसी मे दया पिहित श्रुत मे गोपाय ओम शांति 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 ओम नमो ब्रह्मादिभ्यो ब्रह्म विद्या संप्रदाय कर्तृभ्यो वंशर्षिभ्यो महद्यो नमो गुरुभ्य सर्वोपक्लवरहित प्रज्ञान घन प्रत्यगर्थो ब्रह्मवाहमस्मी ब्रह्मवाहमस्मी ओम शांति 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 श्रुतिस्मृतिपुराणल करुणाल नमा भगवत्द शंकर लोकशंक शंकर शंकराचार्य केशव बाजरायण सूत्र भाष्य वंदे भगवत पुनः पुनः ईश्वरो गुरुरात्मे मूर्ति भेद विभागिने व्योम व्याप्तहाय दक्षिणाूर्त नम अज्ञानतिरांध्य ज्ञानाजन शलाकया चक्षुन्मीलित तस्म श्रीगुरव नम ओ पूर्णमद पूर्णमद पूर्णा पूर्ण मुदच्यते पूर्ण से पूर्णमाधाय पूर्णमेवशिष्य शांति 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 हरि ओ We'll just chant mantra sixteen and seventeen. Om Pushanne Karshe, Pushanne Karshe, Yamasu. <coughs> Sorry. Yamasurya Praja Patya, Yamasurya Praja Patya, View. तेजो यत्ते रूपम तेजो यत्ते रूपम कल्याणतम तत्ते पश्या कल्याणतम तत्ते पश्या योसावसौ पुषा योसावसौ पुषा सोहमस्मी सोहमस्मी नेक्स्ट मंत्र वायुरनिल अमृत वायुरनिल अमृत अथ इद भस्मा शरीर अथ इद भस्मा शरीर ओं कृतस्मर कृत कृतगुम स्मर कृतस्मर कृतगुम स्मर ओके वी सॉ लास्ट टाइम प्रीवियस मंत्र एंड द मंत्र टू कम यू नो मरणासन्न पुरुष से प्रार्थना वन हु इज डाइंग वन हु नोज दिस लाइफ इज टू कम टू एंड One who knows he is to meet Lord Yama, the death. That person is praying. 
and last time we saw so many addresses you know hey purushan hey karshe hey yama hey surya hey prajapatya rashmin samuha vyapu vyap rashmin samuha then he says vyuha remove the rays gather thy dazzling rays light why means please remove the secondary obstacles dazzling is as we discussed last time it's the raga dveshas they they are dazzling shining i am attracted to the world objects and situations and people please remove uh, remove means let them be those rays me let be less dazzling less shining less bright let i let me be relatively free from the holds of likes and dislikes why kalyan tamam yatte tejah me aham pashya so that i may see your most auspicious form most benign form what is that benign form yosavasau purushah soham asmi that purusha which resides in aditya that is me is non separate again there is a prayer so many prayers in what form the seeker he said i want to see you so he says purusha aham asmi and in the end we saw the word purusha means purau ushati iti ushati vasati iti purusha that is the one who abides who resides in this body is purushah and another one is sarvam purayati iti purushah one who fills up everything is purushah one who fills up everything is purushah that means that is the purusha which is there is a very substratum of the entire universe and the same purusha is the one who is residing abiding in this body as i i i i is that purusha i want to see you kalyanatamam what is kalyanatamam so kalyanatamam roopam it is moksha prapakam kalyanatamam that form which gives you the moksha means the knowledge i want to see that i want to know that <laughs> having said that you know next mantra he continues vayuhu anilam amrutam atha idam basmantagum shariram <laughs> so the prose order is amrutam anilam gachatu vayu Vayu, okay. Kachatu, this the the verb has to be supplied here. What kachatu? Vayu, vayu means here. Vayu means prana, okay. Which prana which resides in this body? The word prana has many meanings, but the prana here, the prana that is residing in this body. अध्यात्म परिच्छेदम व्हाट हैप व्हाट शुड हैपन टू दैट प्राणा ही सेज लेट दिस प्राणा मे दिस वायु अमृतम अनलम गच्छतु एंड एट द टाइम ऑफ द डेथ द वी हैव डिस्कस दिस इन तत्व बोधा बट स्टिल आई वुड लाइक टू जस्ट रिमाइंड यू व्हाट वी कॉल डेथ इज the the movement the moving out of entire sukshma sharir ejection of sukshma sharir which happens to be residing in this thul sharir that separation of sukshma sharir and thul sharir is called the death of the body this body particular body dies when sukshma sharir parts sukshma sharira consists of 17 elements 17 things panch gnanendriyani panch karmendriyani panch pranaha 
manasheka buddhisheka five senses of our perception five senses of action all the pranas and mind and buddhi all 17 put together assemblage of 17 is sukshma shari and that entire sukshma sharira is taken out ejected out by prana and primarily by udana vayu okay udana vayu is ejection it does all the ejection sneezing yawning etc is udana vayu karyam that udana vayu takes this now so that the udana vayu is addressed here prana that means the sukshma sharira oh lord there is a prayer may my sukshma sharira go to what amrutam analam there are two words very common in north india two name proper names one is anila and another is anala and from that comes anal some girls name i know anal anila anala anala is a name of fire alam an ala anala anala is the name an alam alam in sinaf for whom for that there is no enough that is fire fire is never satiated fire is never content any amount of combustible material you give it to fire or more you give more fire wants that's the nature of the fire so fire is called anala an alam vidyate alam na vidyate yasya saha one who doesn't say enough one who doesn't feel enough that is fire therefore <laughs> fire will not get extinguished by itself it get extinguished after burning all that is combustible it will not say enough on its own more you give still it continues and more it wants another word is analam anala are anila anala is fire anila is vayu some men are given name anil bhai you know very common in gujarat and north india anil bhai and north also anil kumar there is a name nilayam na vidyate yasya saha anilam one who doesn't have a house one who doesn't have a permanent abode one who is always on move is called anila means vayu is called anil <laughs> You know, sort of a, you can say nomadic, moving hither and thither all the time is called anila. When the person who is anila, never get your daughter married to that anila. That fellow <laughs> will not stay at place at the one place. You know, he is a nomadic, keeps moving here and there. So here also it uses the word. May my prana go to anilam. Which anilam? There is an adjective. Amrutam anilam. Okay. May my individual prana, pravishatu, merge into, enter into. You know, amrutam anilam. Merge into what? What all pervasive, immortal. Amrutam means immortal prana. immortal prana means hiranyagarbha immortal prana means samashti and vayu means vyasti may my vyasti merge into samashti and vayu means my individuality may my individuality merge into totality that's a prayer okay and for that sarvatmaka ha सूत्रात्मा हिरण्यगर्भ में इट मर्ज इंटू
Okay. This is a prayer of a, we'll see that part later. First, let us understand the translation. And then it says, Basmantagum Shariram. Basma Antam Yasya. That means what? May this body reach to end. May this body may be reduced to ashes. Means may I die. May I come to end. May my prarabdha come to an end. Means let this, my prana, my sukshma sharira part away from this stula sharira. So why my, this prarabdha should come to end. And then he says, Kratosmara, Kratagumsmara, Kratosmara, Kratagumsmara. You know? Kratah and Kruta both mean the same. Oh mind, Kratosmara. Oh mind, remember Krutamsmara. What all you have done, please remember. All good deeds that you have performed so far. Remember all those good deeds. Again, Krato, oh mind, Smara, remember Krutagum Smara. May you remember all good deeds. That is a prayer. So threefold prayer is there. First prayer is, may my sukshma sharira merge into samashti sukshma sharira. One. Secondly, may this body come to an end. This thula sharira, may it come to end. Okay. And what does it, another thing he says, rato smara, oh mind, remember. What should you remember? What all you have done, please remember that. Please remember that. This is a prayer of from an upasaka. One who have had been doing upasana, different types of upasana throughout the life. And at the time of death, that person is praying to Ishwara. May my Vyasti Prana, my Prana which is limited to can this body, Prana in, indicate individuality, Jiva. May my Jiva merge into Samashti. And for that, may Prana leave this body. Asmantagum Shariram means what? May the gross body be reduced to ashes, meaning thereby, <laughs> may I leave the body. You are not going to burn the body. You know, body as a per Indian Hindu tradition, body is taken to crematorium and put on fire. That is done by relatives, not he himself or she himself, herself who dies. Vasmantagum sharira means, may I die now. That's a, I don't want to delay this death. Because the pain, the, the pain or aging, all process of this may divert my mind from this Upasya Devata. As of now, I am focused on Ishvara. I want to continue to be focused on Ishvara. And I have only this prayer. See, one may focus on Ishvara, but one may want money, one may want power, one may want pleasures. So here, this fellow, he remembers Ishvara. And he is clear, he or she, that now I, 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 uh, that I don't want to uh, change my focus. I don't want to get distracted by any kind of another thought. So therefore, oh Lord, please bring an end to this life. As of now, I am focused on you. And therefore, I want to leave the body as early as possible. You know? As early as I want to live it. Why? That we'll see a little later. First understand the last second line when he says Krato Smara Krutagum Smara. Before that there is Om. Omkara is a name of the Lord. Like 
We have Sahasranama for Krishna. We have Sahasranama for Shiva. Sahasranama for Devi, different names. Among all these, there is only one name which is comprehensive name, which covers all Namas. That is O. So, O Lord, that is one thing. And secondly, the Omkara is also Vachaka of Brahman. Vachaka means it's a name for Brahman. Omkara is, is the name for Ishvara. Remembering Ishvara. And the prayer, O Ishvara, help me to remember all my good deeds. He prays to the Ishvara and wants the mind to remember what all good things it has done so far. What all upasanas it has done so far. What all dharma it has done so far. May I remember that now. That's a prayer. So this is a prayer. There is a shloka on, in, on, in Bhagavad Gita in 8th chapter. Om Ittekaksharam Brahma Vyaharan Ma Manusmaran Yafprayadi Trajandeham Samasayati Paramam Gatim. That person gains a Param Gati. That means Moksha Gati. That person gains Uttrayana Marga, ultimate Gati. That Gati having attained which he or she has, may not have to return back may be free from the cycle of birth and death. So that kind of prayer this person is making and therefore he or she remembers Omkara. Om ittek aksharam brahma. It is ek aksharam, single lettered brahman. Single lettered name from brahman and the very sound. See there are symbols of Ishwara. Like when you have a Golden coin, rupee coin or simple golden coin. That's a symbol of Lakshmi Ji. In, in India, some of the Kshatriyas, when they get married, there's a sword is a symbol of Shakti, power. So sword is carried and sword goes to fetch the lady to get, to get her get married. It's a symbol. A book is a symbol of knowledge, Saraswati Devi. So also, Om is a sound symbol of Ishvara. Okay? Sound symbol. These are tangible forms. Book, sword, or coin. These are tangible forms. They symbolize Devis. But Om is not a tangible form. Om sound, sound form is a symbol of Ishwar. When you say Om, that is Ishwar. The sound is Ishwar. So the Bhagavan says, Om Ittekaksharam Brahma. It is single lettered, single syllable Brahman. Vyaharan Mamanusmaran, chanting that and remembering me. You may chant the name or a symbol, but you should remember the Lord also. <laughs> the person may say Rama, Rama, Krishna, Krishna. He may remember Rama Krishna, the fellow working in the office, his boss, and think that Ram Krishna is not a good fellow. He harassed me throughout the life. That fellow should be punished. Blah, blah, blah. And then he will forget Ishvara. <laughs> Rama Krishna <laughs> should, when you chant Rama Krishna, Corresponding thought of Ishvara also should be there in mind. Here is a person who is chanting Omkara, Maam Anusmaran, remembers the Ishvara. Tejandeha Kalevaram, he gives Yaprayati Tejandeha, Manu departs the body and he leaves the body, remembering against Paramagati, the ultimate Gati. Ultimate Gati means that Gati. Having attained which you are not to come back. Possibility of moksha. Our Shastra mentions this one thing also. Here some of you 
might have heard and you may understand the tradition. Why this tradition? We have a tradition of chanting Bhagavat Nama when somebody is passing out, somebody is dying. We say Ram 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 Ram, Krishna Krishna Krishna, whatever may be the Ishta Devata, we do Bhagavat Nama Japa. Om Namah Shivaya, Om Namah Shivaya, Om Namah Shivaya. For Gita chanting, etc. The reason is, Ante, at that last moment, whatever is bhava, whatever is your predominant thought, that will be your next destination. From where you begin the next janma. So last thought, last bhava, decides the future bhava, future janma, next janma, next bhava. So at the end, it is important what you remember. This person, and I have told earlier also, what you can remember at the end, that depends on what you remember throughout the life. Exactly like the business, or the, the profit and loss, Account on the 31st March, the summary of PL account is it, it, it reflects all the transactions that were done from 1st April of the previous year. The summation or the summary of all the transaction comes out as the balance sheet of the 31st March PL account. So, last thought depends on what kind of thoughts we entertained, what kind of bhava we entertained throughout my life. And the summation or essence or summary of all of them will get reflected at the end. So you don't choose what to think at the end. It automatically comes as an end result of thinking of throughout the life. No? See, the irony of human life is human being always thinks or human being always is conscious, he is very sensitive to what others think about me. <laughs> the typical Indian expression Certain things we have got to do so that others can, may speak like that about us, others may talk about us in this fashion. And so may others may not talk about this way, so you don't do certain things. That's how. Indian psyche is Samaj Sukhe, society su vichars. Bija hu vichar se, any chinta karta pela, tame hu vichar se, any karjo. Rather than getting too conscious and thinking about what others think about me, you better keep thinking about what I think within myself. Is the mind riddled with ragadvesha? Am I always brooding about the past unhappiness and the pain that someone has given or the situation has given? Some person about whom I have a very strong dislike, about whom I have lots of complaint. Is it my mind brooding over that person? Or is my mind craving for something which I wanted, or which I had it in the past? Craving for sukha all the time, thinking about the past sukha or the future sukha to come. Or always thinking about past dukha. If mind is, we generally mind is busy. Complaining about the past, projecting about or fantasizing about the future. That's how the mind is. We have to be 
observant about what is it that is going on here. What others think about me is less important to what I have been thinking in my mind. What have I been brooding in the mind or projecting in the mind or imagining in the mind? Because the summary of all that will be reflected at the deathbed. And that will decide our next janma. You know, <laughs> next day. It is like your GPS, you know, when you start driving, before that you put the address, where to go. That address is decided based on the last thought. And that thought is decided based on what all you thought throughout the life. So that being the case, the, this Upasaka, this Dharmanishta, you know, Satya Dharmaya, last time we saw the word in the mantra number 15, Satya Dharmaya me. The one who has lived a life of values, one who has lived a life of Dharma, Kartavya Karma, one who has committed himself or herself to duties. So that person has always been thinking about Ishvara, about duties, etc. But still, he is praying, Oh Lord, oh mind, think good, don't remember all this. Don't be a dveshi. Don't be a complainant. Always complaining about what I didn't have and why should I have and why did I not do that way or this way, that kind of thing. Don't think that. May mind think only something good, auspiciousness. Rato smara, rata gum smara. May you remember what all you did into bracket, what all good has been done. All good deeds. Some shubha chit vichar, shubha thought, shubha vichar. You know, there is a prayer. Om Bhadram Karne Vishrunyama Deva. Bhadram Pashe Makshavir Yajatra. May we listen auspicious things. May we see auspicious. And the most famous prayer is Ano Bhadra Pratavo Yantu Vishwat. Vishwataha Bradraha Kratavaha Yantu. May auspicious thoughts come to us from all the side. May we do perform good deed duties or something that is to be done all the time. May we commit to noble deeds. May we commit to dharma. This person have had been doing that. But Ante Yag Matihi Saiva Gatihi. Whatever thought is there at the end, that will be the next gati. So he is requesting his mind as well as the Lord. May mind be thinking of only kratasma, only auspicious, only good things, only noble things, what I have done. I had a sankalpas of Vedic karmas. So may I Remember only those karmas which I had done, Vedic karmas. May I not remember anything else. Inadvertently also, may not be some thought in my, may not be a thought of the nature of hatred, jealousy, anger, etc. in my mind. May I remember only auspicious. Then, lastly, he conclude, there is another prayer to Bhagavan through Agni Devata regarding moksha, regarding gati. Next, gati. All these prayers are ultimately for moksha. May I gain that moksha? May I be free from this? Therefore, he says, look at the next verse, next mantra. Agne naya supatharaye Agne naya supatharaye Asman vishwani deva vayunani vidwan Asman vishwani deva vayunani vidwan 
अगेन अग्ने नय सुपथाराये अस्मान अग्ने नय सुपथाराये अस्मान विश्वानि देव वयुनानि विद्वान विश्वानि देव वयुनानि विद्वान युयोद्यस्मज्जुहुराणमेन युयोद्यस्मज्जुहुराणमेन भूयिष्ठा ते नम उक्ति विधेम भूयिष्ठा ते नम उक्ति विधेम विधेम difficult to pronounce difficult to chant and more difficult to understand <laughs> this upanishad mantra is such therefore other day i said you need a teacher shava se upanishad cannot be understood by reading by itself he says oh agne अग्नि देवता हु आर यू विश्वानी वयुनानी विद्वान विश्वानी मीन सकला सर्वाणी वयुनानी मीन्स मम कर्माणी विद्वान मीन्स यू आर नोअर ओ अग्नि देवता यू आर द नोअर यू नो ऑल कर्मास ऑल धर्म कर्मास दैट आई परफॉर्म्ड दैट आई डिड you have had been a sakshi you had been a witness i did it everything in your presence i i did everything as an offering unto you it means is a traditional prayer those time when they perform different yagnas supatha asman naya asman naya please lead us to सुपथ मीन्स मार्ग रोड सुपथ सृष्टु पथ वेट इज इज गुड रोड गुड रोड नॉट इन टर्म्स ऑफ कार्पेटिंग इर इज सुपथ मीन दैट मार्ग विच टेक्स मी टू मोक्ष इज नॉट टकिंग अबाउट द नेचर ऑफ द रोड बाय द वर्ड सुपथ सुपथ मीन्स द डेस्टिनेशन शुड बी सुपथ मार्ग what for you want to go you want to go by travel by supath uttarayana marga why for rai there is a word rai you know agne naya vayunani rai rai means karma phala bhogaya moksha yascha ek me to do dos marga lead us to this path where i enjoy the results of my sadhana i may get those benefits of the results of my sadhana my upasanas my karmas okay and upasaka is worried at the time of death he knows the chanchalam hi manah krishna what arjuna has that mind is very restless and in out of restlessness it can think anything and i may remember papa also it may have thoughts of artha kama also why he says therefore he says juhuranam yodhi जुहुराणम मीन्स वक्र कुटिल पाप जुहुराणम योधि अस्मन जुहुराणम अस्मन जुहुराणम मे वी बी प्रोटेक्टेड मे वी बी सेव्ड 
to what from keeping aside what what juhuranam pap vakram may i not get the karma phala which is pap karma phala which is the result the phalam of the papa performed in this life asmin janmani krutani papani purva janmani krutani papani scha o bhagwan please keep aside those papas you know just put them into edge not to mature now you know vishtham te nama uktim vidhema nama uktim vidhema i am offering you salutations but how verbally <laughs> the fellow is on the death bed cannot move cannot do physical sastang namaskara why sastang namaskara cannot turn to left or side left or right you know so dilapidated body so helpless i cannot turn my own body i cannot hold my hands and fold them so weak therefore i am offering you to my namaskar like we offer by words also namaskara you know when you chant om namah shivaya om namah shivaya om namah shivaya namah shivaya namaskar to shiva it's a meaning shiv namaskara to lord shiva om namah shivaya om namah shivaya so also here he says te nama uktim vidhema i offer verbal namaskaras unto you o oh the lord in other words o agni devata lead me to uttarayana marga lead me to shukla gati that eighth chapter of bhagavad gita mentioned about that take me to those gati for what bhoga means the previous mantra he asked for moksha the end should be ananda but my path also may it be pleasure not only the end is sukham the path also may it be sukhakari that's it and for that he says agni devata remember devata agni is karma phal sakshi agni is huta bhuk agni is huta vahana so many names are there offering that you make <coughs> is in yagna shala is in is eaten away by agni but that agni devata doesn't keep the offering it carries to the respective devata for whom this was made offering when you say vai ve namaha swaha the offering is to vai devata apparently agni is eating that for offerings but that offering ahuti is sent to vai devata brahmane swaha brahma devata indra swaha indra swaha indra devata so agni is a carrier of all your punya karmas it passes on to respective devatas addressing to whom you had done the karma of offering the oblations so he is offering a agni devata you know all my karmas because what you are all knowing you are prakasha swarupaha so you know everything what i have done so please take me to uttarayana mark rahe rahe so uttarayana marga means by the marga by which i make may have a beautiful pleasant path you know like even going when you go to badrinath or kedarnath or gangotri or jamnotri reaching out there is very painful very pain because now it has changed but last 14 kilometers for kedarnath is a trek you know to 
break the whole path for 14 kilometers. A very narrow track. And in between the uh, ponies kept, kept coming and going. And the Doliwala also were kept coming and going. So it's, it's very tiresome. You get totally exhausted by the time you reach to Vajrayana. And having gone there, when you have a darshan of Ishwara, all the exhaustion goes away. <laughs> and even having gone there, when you see the river, Lagananda, you know, Kain Badrinath, Bhagirathi and Kedarnath, you just forget all your fatigue. And if you are riding a pony, what they call it, horse, Actually, it's a pony. Gode pe jao. Then it's very, very tiresome because it, it jumps step by step, you know. And you, you will have a tremendous back pain. When you walk, you will have a knee and ankle pain. When you go on a horse, you have a back and a neck pain because it does like this and goes. All the way it is painful. The path is painful. Moment they take you there, suddenly something happens and you forget the pain. You become ready. I have seen people who take 12 hours to reach there, so exhausted and panting and just slept. Morning wake up, they sleep at 8 o'clock, but morning wake up at 3, 3.30 and be ready for the first puja. At 4 o'clock. Wake up, take shower and then come to temple. Similarly, the path and I am asking Uttrayana Marga. To that gati by which I may not return back. But let the path also be as pleasant and as beautiful. Therefore, it is a Raya Kratosma. You please remember, you know everything, what are karmas I have done. You are karma sakshi. You have had been a witness to all my actions. And I have done punya karmas as per the shastric injunctions. Therefore, take me through Tarada Marga by which I may enjoy the path as well. Another good news is, our, this just to share with you, Prime Minister has allocated, had allocated 5,000 crores of rupees to make a super express highway from Rikesh to Badkeda. Six lane, four lane road. Typical like American roads, secured roads. And they have been working. And they have built quite a bit in kilometers. Something is opened up and uh, then the path will not be so painful. Path also will be pleasant. And by the way, I will share with you. It was our suggestion. Acharya Sabha told him and uh, way back in 2014, mm -hmm. August, in me, when I had gone with Swami Puja Swami, we both of us were there, we suggested him few things. And that all he has completed. I said, so many yatris are falling, bus falls into the gorge and they die, and so many get killed. And no facility available, no nothing to rest, nothing to good thing available. So it will be like a typical highway. So mortality will be more, accidents will be least on that road, I hopefully. And by the time you come, in fact, <laughs> you know, I had gone to Switzerland just two, three years ago before I talked to him. So I said, why don't you build a cog rail like Switzerland? Go from tunnel inside and reach up to those peaks and then come back. And we could come back in one day, which was much higher. The Madri to 11,000 feet and that was 13, 14,000. So I said, we can come back. He paused and looked at me straight in the eyes, you know. We'll do, Swami. Since you are saying, we'll do. But, I said, what is but? I thought maybe financial issues, because that government had left a huge debt for him. 
the way he turned the economy itself is a study for finance wizards, you know. He turned, they said, I thought if money may be issue. I said, is it the budgeting? It's okay, you may do a little later. He, he may do after three years, four years, start the project. He says, no, that is any which way is going to be problem <laughs> till I get some funds. But then I need your help. You know, I am always ready. He said, when I do this inside the mountain, all those Tirtha Kshetras coming on the road, nobody will visit. All those pandas and pujaris and temple will lose their income. So please take care of them and their income. I will build the Cochrane. <laughs> I said, how can I do that? He says, no, then I will build the road. I said, okay. And the road will be as safe and as quick as the Cochrane. So I'll make that. You can go in a day and come back in one day. So the path is going to be very beautiful. Is Maranon Mukha Upasaka, one who is to die, he prays to the Lord. Agne Supatharai Naya Supatha, take us to good path, take me through that path by which Rai, so that Karma Fala Bhoga, I may enjoy the results of my Karma Falas, my sadhanas. And Raya means ultimately I want the karma phala. Which phala? Moksha phala ichuka. I am desirous of moksha phala. Take me to that road by which I gain moksha. And till I gain moksha, let there be pleasure. Let the path be pleasant. Karma phala yeah, means Brahma loka prapti arthe. To gain Brahma loka. Ah, oh Agni Devata, lead me to that path by which I may gain, go to Brahma. Oh Agni Devata, take me to that path by which not only my end is pleasant and beautiful, my journey all the way also becomes pleasant and beautiful. Please take me to that path. Agni Supathar. Raya means for this purpose. Vishwani Deva Vayunani Vidwan. No. Vishwani Deva Vayunani Vidwan. Hey Devta, you know Vishwani Vayunani. You know all my karmas. You have been witness to what all I did throughout the life. And therefore, lead me to that path. Okay. And then. Yo, 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 di, yo, yo, di, asman, juhurana, menam. Yo, yo, di, separate out. You know, remove it or postpone. See, the law of karma and karma phala is very unique. It is called phalam, it is like the fruit. You know, in if you notice this, if you have a garden, you might notice in one tree, the season, the fruit seasons starts from, let us say, day X, and it continues to day Y. So many days, the tree bears fruits. It gives you fruits, so many days. Though all the branches are taking the sap from the same root, they all have the same climate, same sunlight. Still, there is a variation in fructification or maturation of the fruits. On the same branch also. <laughs> and not only on the branch, in the same branch, in the most proximate vicinity, two fruits like mango are lying there. One may be ready to be plucked earlier and other may not be. One is ripe enough to be eaten, other one may not be ripened at all. That is the nature of fruit called in Sanskrit called phalam. So also karma phala, what you do in this janma, 
is not necessary that you will get its result in here in this genma only. You may get in next genma and you may get after kalpa koti shataihi api. Billions and millions of kalpas means one chaturyuga. Dwapar, Satya, Treta and Kali. All the years put together one Kali Yuga. I mean one, one Yuga. In such infinite Yugas make it Kalpa. There is some statistics. But then Kalpa Koti Satai Even millions of Kalpas go away. Karma Phala comes. It is like fruit. Some Karmas will mature in this life itself, some may mature next life and some may be maturing in lives thereafter. Nobody knows except Ishwara. Here the seeker is saying, I have done papam. Some of my, out of my ignorance, out of my stupidity, non-thinking when I was a teenager. And some papam I have done deliberately driven by my likes and dislikes, driven by my anger and frustration I have done. All those papafalas can come right now at the time of death. Ishwara only knows karma phala data, like the fruits. Which one will ripen when? Nobody knows except the Ishwara. Which karma phala will ripen and give me phala? I don't know. Therefore, please keep aside if at all those karma phalas are to fructify. Which one? Papa Karma Phala. Two types of Papas are committed by me directly or indirectly, advertently or inadvertently. That Papa Phala may not mature now. Let me gain moksha, let me gain knowledge and let thereafter this maturation, I don't care. So he says, He Agni Devata, what you should do? Juhuranam enam asmat juhomi. You know, juhuranam kutilam papam. Actions that generate papam. Or papa loka. May you keep them aside. May you postpone them. Like when you clean the road, you clean the main road and put everything on the edges. Let them come later. Later the fellow himself is not there. Therefore he says, Te nama uktim videma. I offer verbal ukti. Nama uktim videma. I offer verbally my pranams unto you. Okay. By how ukti? By speech, speech only. I offer verbal namaskaras. May you accept. Having said this, Upanishad is completed. We'll chant the Shanti Mantra and I'll make small announcements. Om Purnamada Purnamidam Purnat Purnamudachate Purnasya Purnamadhaya Purnam Hevava Shishyate Om Shanti 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 Harihi Om Shri Guru Pyo Namaha Harihi Om